nuclear Pakistan, unstable Pakistan, nuclear Iran, which is uh, the greater threat. Both are extremely dangerous, of course. And as for who uh, termed that central war on terror being in Iraq, it was General Petraeus and al-Qaeda, both leaders there, and it's probably the only thing that they're ever going to agree on, but that it was a central war on terror is in Iraq. You don't have to believe me or John McCain on that. I would believe Petraeus and that leader of al-Qaeda. Uh, an armed nuclear armed, especially Iran, is so extremely dangerous to consider. They cannot be allowed to acquire nuclear weapons, period. Israel is in jeopardy, of course, when we're dealing with Ahmadinejad as a leader of Iran. Iran claiming that Israel is, he termed it, a stinking corpse, a country that should be wiped off the face of the earth. Now, a leader like Ahmadinejad, who is not sane or stable when he says things like that, is not one whom we can allow to acquire nuclear energy, nuclear weapons. Ahmadinejad, Kim Jong-il, uh, the Castro brothers, others who are dangerous dictators are ones that Barack Obama has said he would be willing to meet with without preconditions being met first. An issue like that, taken up by a presidential candidate, goes beyond naivete and goes beyond poor judgment. A statement that he made like that is downright dangerous because leaders like Ahmadinejad, who would seek to acquire nuclear weapons and, and wipe off the face of the earth, an ally like we have in Israel, should not be met with without preconditions and diplomatic efforts being undertaken first.